Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, using deep Q learning, we're going to train the RL agent to do cliff walking game. Okay, guys, as you can see, he started out over here. And then if you saw the thumbnail, he was over here. This game is a little different than Frozen Lake. There's a little more obstacles and there's more leeway. You see what I mean? So uh, OpenAI Gym is a library where we got these games from the 80s and the 90s. And they're turned into reinforcement learning environments where we can train RL agents, a program within a program, to complete its task. Meaning the RL agent is him. This is his environment. And then there's a reward and a penalty system where we train him to complete his task, to get to here and get all these. So guys, as you can see, um, there's a couple of approaches before we dive into the code. There's Markov's decision process, there's deep Q learning, and there's also uh, Monte Carlo. All are good. Uh, I, I was a big fan of Markov's decision process. However, I've seen deep Q learning has its advantages too, because Markov's decision process means all things want to go to a state of rest, right? Therefore, you want to... But one thing is true in all of these. You never want to reward the agent too much because then he gets too lazy. Or like in my other video where we did reinforcement learning for trading, you uh, increase the memory uh, of the agent. He becomes lazy, you see? So if you, uh, make, uh, if you give him a little leeway, he'll learn. But if you give him too much memory... He'll become lazy. And guys, one more thing. Um, they're coming out with uh, new features in a lot of these uh, real-life scenarios outside OpenAI Gym called uh, dopamine. Yeah, dopamine, the mimic the brain. Um, it's a feature from uh, some of these libraries now for RL agent learning. So anyways, guys, see more documentation and see my other videos for reinforcement learning agent environments like Grid World for machine learning framework and uh, see my other open AI gems and my reinforcement learning for trading where we use TensorFlow. Guys, remember, if you use Google Colab before we dive into the code, TensorFlow in your virtual environment is pre-installed in a lot of these other features. So on Jupyter, you'll have to download more stuff and make sure it's in your virtual environment. And guys, uh, one more thing. Um, Check out my channel. I've got machine learning pipelines. <clears throat> Before we dive into the code. Anyways, guys, um, you guys might want to download. Uh, you guys have to do these libraries right here. Right here. Just copy them as exact. While, I'm cop while you're copying this, I got to tell you. Um, see my other videos. I've got machine learning deployments, just basic data science videos where no deployments involved, AWS SageMaker deployments, Azure deployments, Google Cloud deployments, you name it, I got it, including machine learning pipelines with SageMaker pipelines, full ML ops. See my other videos for Streamlit and Render Cloud deployments with uh, Streamlit web apps, image classification, sentiment analysis web app, you name it, I got it. I've also got a lot of convolutional neural networks and more. Basically, here is the full stack of data science, just to sum it up. And guys, see my other video for recording it and turning it into a movie. See my last video. Okay, guys, import these libraries right here. Import time, we need that later. And then also, this is your environment registry. You see all these games? I've done pretty much almost every game. I'm going to see whether there's one I missed and I can do. Some of these you have to download Box2D and Mujico and Mujico PY. And the installation can get annoying with uh, Mujico. So guys, just be aware of that. Now, environment equals Jim make. Because remember, technically we're loading the environment and then Jim is making it. But that's how the code is, the syntax. Anyways, guys, we're going to use the class function and a bunch of def functions. Okay, guys, the self function is often used in reinforcement learning to assign it to itself. MP0 is the end states and NX. You guys see that up there? 
Okay, let's go down to the next death predict. MP random choice, and then Q list max. Return the action, self Q and self state, and then splice on that index. MP uniform, if it's greater than self E, self and act, action equals self predict the state. So as you can see, he's learning to guess. Def learn. Uh, reward next date. In fact, guys, if I wanted to improve this, I might uh, add a memory function with the ma and then uh, make the max len a moderate amount. You know what I mean? Okay, and then max. Um, you know the in the max len of the uh, agent's memory. If I could pass more parameters, and. Um, I change the Appleson also and add the self Appleson function. Environment reset, total reward, zero. You see, guys, so that's a good number because if I put one, he might be lazy. You guys see what I mean? Although, guys, try it and prove it or put 0.5. See if it's compatible. Next state, reward done. Environment step action, well, true. The next state, because it's move on to the next one. Then a little Boolean logic there, and then return the total reward. We're almost done, guys. And then test the episode. Environment agent total reward is zero. You see, because we're going to test it. If it was uh, zero up there, it's got to be zero down here. Time sleep, 0 0.5. Don't change that parameter. And then now we're training. The deep Q agent, remember? From up there, the class. And then later, we're gonna call it down here, the train train, you guys see? N act equals environment, NN, any, you see? Okay, gamma equals gamma. I should have passed the Eppelson in here. You see, that's one thing you guys can do. And then the epochs, as you know, just like in, uh, Convolutional neural networks and a lot of my videos, epochs are iterations. See some of my other videos. I've got many playlists. Test the episode, environment agent, reward. There we go. Now, guys, one funny thing. He trained pretty bad. However, if you guys notice, he's doing pretty good. He's back to square one. However... Let's leave him alone for a second. He see he he's seeing where he can go else. The furthest he got, as you guys saw in the thumbnail and the clip, was right here, and then he decided to you know go exploring. So that's what I meant, guys. If you guys want him to go to the goal, improve my model. In fact, let's dive back into the code for a second. Um. MP argmax, like in a lot of my videos, is the greedy function. Sometimes it's better to compute it with NumPy that way, wherever you can pass MP argmax, the greedy function in reinforcement learning. MP argmax you also use to compute class labels in deep learning. I compute, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever logic it is. And guys, be advised, if you change some of these parameters, some of the numbers or splice on a different index, just like a convolutional neural network, uh, input and output shapes, they got to be compatible. So be aware of that too. And guys, be aware, you can add more episodes too. You know, he's got more time to learn. So let's say he's training all right or he improved the model. Maybe he only needs 500 more episodes to learn. You guys see what I mean? However, he's not doing bad, is he? He's back out there. You guys see? So guys, as you can see, uh, I'm getting close to the number of games. You guys would really be helping me out if you guys left comments telling me what kind of games you guys are, just what, what kind of videos you guys want, you know? Or just... Uh, Shout out to me and uh, tell me what you think or leave a comment telling me um, any support. You know, every bit helps. And if you're here for something, 
is probably something else you need. You know what I mean? So uh, there's 140 other videos. If you're here, I've got everything. It's the full stack of data science. You guys see what I mean? Therefore, um, somebody else you know might need something. Um, just saying, uh, it helps me out if you share it too. Also, guys, if you like the video, click like. You uh, want to subscribe? If you haven't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe, you know? That helps me out too. Um, yes, this channel's going to keep going on. Um, don't worry about that. It's just you guys would be helping me out. I serve my audience too, you know? If you guys help me out, you know, what you need help with, something you want to see, you name it, I'll do it. Now, guys, I plan on getting back on the cloud with SageMaker for maybe a few models I haven't done. I've done pretty much every model. Check out all those videos. I've even got hypertuning the print, everything, everything, you name it. MLOps. Um, however, I haven't done the uh, SageMaker image classification. When I start getting more subscribers, I'm going to get back on the cloud and uh, do one of those. Just uh, AWS accounts run up charges when you're running it on a GPU instance on SageMaker Notebook. You guys know that. Uh, anyways, guys, um, check it out and uh, stay tuned. Uh, I appreciate all of y'all who've been who've been tuning in this whole time. You guys. I appreciate y'all. Don't worry. Any new viewers, I appreciate you too for seeing the video. Don't worry about that. Anyways, guys, till next time. Thank you. Bye.